All right, we are Vanderprov. We are, uh, thank you. We are the best and only improv team at Hope College. We are thrilled to be here with you. Uh, my name is Dylan Connor. This is our team. I am Sean Zorn. I'm Nikki Kay. I'm Molly Merck. I'm Katie McCarthy. I'm Abby Labarge. Mitch Conrad. And today, we will be performing a game called Armando with you. And so in a second, I'm going to take a suggestion from you guys, because this is your show. Um, and then we're going to say whatever comes to our minds and perform a series of scenes based on what we say. Uh, so can I have a suggestion from someone in the audience of an object that you wouldn't expect to find on a TEDx stage? Just yell it out. Axe handle. That's <laughs> <laughs> Let's go something general. Maybe something I could <laughs> something I could fit in my pocket. What is it? Hot air balloon. Hot air balloon? All right. Let's take hot air balloon. Hot air balloon. Uh, when I think of uh, hot air balloon, I think of as when I was a kid, um, how one of my biggest fears was being trapped in one forever in the sky um, <laughs> and never being able to get down. Uh, when I think of a hot air balloon, I think of uh, last year when uh, someone at Hope proposed to his girlfriend in a hot air balloon and forever ruined proposals for everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when I think of hot air balloons, I think of when my mom drives a car and she sees something in the sky, whether it's a plane or a bird or whatever, she will freak out and she will not look at the road at all, but keep driving. And hot air balloons are the worst thing that happens to us in the car because it feels very unsafe. <laughs> When I think of hot air balloons, I think of those Claritin commercials, which always really inspired me, because I have terrible seasonal allergies, but I thought that if I took Claritin, I could become a hot air balloon pilot. Uh, when I hear hot air balloon, I think about the time my dad and I uh, were driving, and we found kind of like a hot air balloon convention. Um, I think that's the best way of describing it. There was just hot air balloons everywhere, and we spent about two hours there just walking around looking at hot air balloons on the ground. They weren't even flying. <laughs> when, uh, when I was little, um, we used to live in a house with like a big field in the backyard, and a hot air balloon landed in my backyard, but I wasn't home, so I missed it. <laughs> <laughs> when I think of hot air balloons, I think of a lot of the terrible TV shows I watch, like The Bachelor, where they go on these dates, that are in hot air balloons or on adventures, and it's always a metaphor for love. They're like, you know, this is just like our love because it knows no bounds. <laughs> <laughs> um, when I think of hot air balloons, I just think of like the worst possible way to travel. Like there, <laughs> there could not be a worse option. You could take a car, you could take a boat, you could take a plane, but a hot air balloon, you go up more than you go any other direction, and that sounds just terrifying. <laughs> All right, uh, we got your tickets ready for you, uh, and you wanted to travel by hot air balloon. That's what we have for you. Um, Great. So you're going to Spain. Yes. It might take a while. Um, I'm ready. I'm ready. That's what I wanted. Okay, is there anything that you really want to have with your hot air balloon? Uh, do you want to pilot, or do you think you're just going to do it oh. fly solo? Oh, wow. Um, I mean, I guess if, if you guys... Provide a pilot. Yeah, we provide a pilot. Um, hey, Marco, can you come yeah, in? Yeah, yeah, I'm right here. How's it going? Uh, this is Marco. He's our uh, our hot air balloon pilot that we keep on staff. He really has not worked in a while uh, because you're the first person in years to ask for this. Um, That's okay. But, Hi, Marco. Nice yeah. to meet you. Pleasure. We'll yeah. be spending a lot of time together. Oh, a lot. You will. <laughs> Marco will be. Marco will also be living with you in Spain. Um, that's kind of part of the, uh, the well, agreement. When you want wow. to return, uh, buy hot air balloon, because you did purchase a round trip right. ticket, mm -hmm. I yeah. will have to be there. So I figure we might as well just live out the rest of our lives together. Yeah. <laughs> this has is, this is turned into something completely different from what I imagined before. You, you didn't read the fine print, I guess. Uh. Cut to week two of their journey. <laughs> Close quarters. Ah, uh, yes. Still. Yeah. Still, after two weeks. Yeah, we're still ocean everywhere. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just remember, you paid for this. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me, Marco. Cut yes. to Marco receiving his pilot's license for hot air balloons. <laughs> hey, so uh, you've taken Claritin for at least a week now. So you are, you're all set. Do I have to like like mail in the backs of the boxes and then they send me my my, my license for? Oh yeah yeah yeah. You have to do that, but then you're you're all clear. Wow. Yeah. Clear and clear. <laughs> clear and clear. clear. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm really excited. This is great. Yeah, so. it's gonna be great. And the cool thing is, if people are like, "Hey, what's that bag do?" or "What do you do?" just be like, "Well, we're gonna fly this hot air balloon, etc. etc." And so, it's gonna be <laughs> completely fine. So I'm sorry, I, I never actually get taught how to do this? No, oh, not, not okay. ever. Oh, great. But okay. you've been on it for like a week and a half? 
The Claritin, yes, yeah. not the hot air balloon. Yeah, no, yeah. no, just the Claritin. Yeah, you should be fine, I think. Will you marry me? Well, it's funny, because this ring is shining like the rest of our love story is, and I, sure. Really? Yes. Even though we're not in a hot air balloon anymore? You know, I just, I just think, knowing that we're on The Bachelor, the producers did not set up all these dates, you did. And it came from your heart. Absolutely. And that's what means the most to me, you know? This is not staged whatsoever. Can you, can you say that and look uh, into the camera? Sorry, what was that line again? Can you say this isn't staged into okay, the camera? Uh, this isn't staged whatsoever. We love each other, truly. This, this camera is a metaphor for our love. I have a rose. <laughs> okay, good. Um, it's like, good. Can, can we cut there? Can, yeah. Can we cut there? Okay, I just, I don't feel good about this. Um, I, I just didn't feel like that was really genuine. I thought this was real. This is my life, sir. <laughs> okay. Um, did, I left the job. Can, we, can, we can switch your eyes. Can you swap Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> All right. Hi. Hi. Yeah, I'm, I'm Ronnie. Okay, Margaret. Yeah, so I'm just gonna propose and you'll say yeah? Perfect. All right, cool. Okay, All okay. Right. Uh, remember remember to work in a couple metaphors? Okay, they love yeah. that. When do our paychecks come? <laughs> Look, I'm just the camera guy. Okay, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. we'll talk about We'll figure it out later. Yeah. Yeah. So kids, uh, I thought uh, while your mother's out of town, what could be more fun than a hot air balloon convention? <laughs> Well, I can think of a lot of things. So, hot air balloon conventions. This is going to be great. Yeah. We could have gone to the toy store. This is kind of like a big toy store. In what way is it kind of like a big toy store? Because I see one toy that is very hot to touch. Mm -hmm. well, Come to the hot air balloon convention. Hey. Uh, I'm Frank. Uh, <laughs> isn't this Hi, fun? Frank. I'm Annie. Isn't this fun, girls? This is uh, the hot air balloon convention. If you look around, um, some hot air balloons over there. <laughs> a couple more over there. Uh, Frank, how long you been doing this? Hot air balloons in the sky. Uh, wow! <laughs> you can fly those hot air balloons. Uh, you can sit in them. Um, those hot air balloons, those are fun. Those were made in Germany. Uh, uh, you guys want an elephant here or Cut something? Cut to Frank's childhood. <laughs> All right, now, Frank. Yeah. We're gonna go on another family road trip, okay? So we're gonna have to be in the car for a long time. There's some cars over there. It might scar you. <laughs> You'll probably want to be in a different kind of transportation for the rest of your life, like hot air balloons. <laughs> your mother and I have a plan, Frank. You have a good career ahead of you as hot air balloon salesman. Cut back to the convention. <laughs> So, uh, so basically what happens here is you look at a hot air balloon, you buy a hot air balloon. Uh, They're I, for sale? Dad, they are for sale. Can we get a hot air balloon? I would like two hot air balloons, one for me and one for her. I would like one for the pony that you promised. I would like three hot air balloons total then. <laughs> one, take three, and an elephant ear, if that's still for sale. Uh, their, their mother's out of town, so right. we can take one for sure. I heard three. I heard three. Uh, is there a discount if we get them in, 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 in bulk? <laughs> yeah, we have a uh, buy a hot air balloon in bulk deal um, <laughs> where you buy, you buy three, you get the price of two. Sir, yeah. can we please see your kid's hot air balloon menu? <laughs> is she okay? Has she... Uh, <laughs> Really? Flowers, dinner, candles. I don't see a hot air balloon. This is not spectacular at all, and my answer is no. This is, this is, did you not see that other guy? He asked in a hot air balloon. This is lame. You're lame. I, I can't afford to buy a hot air balloon just to propose to you it's, in. It's a metaphor. You know it's what? It's a metaphor, obviously. Metaphor, can you explain that? Can you explain what it's a metaphor for? Love. Yeah? That is shared. You sound like you're out of your mind right now. <laughs> what are we going to do, other than me proposing to you in a hot air balloon, what's the second thing we will do in the hot air balloon at, when we're married? Will there be anything? Is it a sound investment? I'm looking ahead. I am a simple mailman. I, <laughs> I don't have the budget to go out. I barely could afford these flowers to give you. Those actually are quite nice. Thank you. I appreciate those. Cut to her friend who did get proposed to in a hot air balloon. Yeah, so it was like super romantic. We just went up. It was, it 
we were just so many feet above the ground. Yeah. <laughs> you could see everything. Yeah, we, we broke up. <laughs> we are no longer together. But but yeah, you you were all up in a hot air balloon. Did did he like have it spelled in the clouds or something? Oh, of course he did. Yeah, <laughs> of that's course. so cool. Thank you, thank you. I'm I'm like really sorry about what happened to you though. That's a yeah. huge bummer. It I mean it happens. Yeah, it happens. Not everyone's gonna buy you a hot air balloon for life events. Yeah, only certain. Teresa, people. I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> Gerald. Yes. <laughs> I I walked around for weeks around the city thinking, and all I could think about was how you deserved a hot air balloon. I do deserve a I hot air balloon. I quit my job. We're gonna live together in a hot air balloon because you want that and I'm gonna give that to you. <laughs> Sounds perfect. Cut to them in couples counseling later in life. <laughs> so you have no money because None. you spent it on a hot air balloon 10 years ago. Yeah. yeah. None whatsoever. It is, yeah. That, that, you know, when we, when we uh, look back at all the mistakes we made, that was probably the big one. <laughs> probably the and main one. There was a pretty big trickle yeah. down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. So, uh, how, how did you two meet exactly? What, what happened there? What brought this abysmal event together? Well, uh, I, think, I think you tell that story much better than I do. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it, was, um, it was a hot air balloon convention. Mm -hmm. And I was just walking around because I was looking for romance. Did you get an elephant ear? I did, they were delicious. And that's actually how he, he sold me the elephant ear because he was still in mailman school. Yeah. And um, trying to pay his way through that. That was before okay. I changed my name from Frank to Gerald. Yeah. <laughs> I love, hey, plane, look at that! Oh, oh man, hey. look at those, oh! oh. oh. Up, please. Here, I'll help. Okay. I think, help together. I think my okay. Yeah, your leg's gonna be okay. See, yeah. you can just shake that. Yeah. Off. See, you're all right. But on the bright side, there's a plane over wow. there. Wow! Who are you? Are you people? Cheer you up. <laughs> Dad, when's mom coming back from Spain? She left like a month ago. <laughs> well, sweetie, uh, she just sent us an email with her new husband Marco. <laughs> She's very happy. <laughs> Does that mean she's not coming back for a longer time? Yes. Also, while you were at school, a hot air balloon landed in our backyard. <laughs> I missed it! You missed it. I missed it! Sorry, sweetie. Things aren't really lining up for you this year. Well, what am I supposed to do now? I don't have a mom, I don't have a hot air balloon, I don't have any hope. Yeah, I guess that's true. I don't know. We all just try to figure it out, sweetie. I don't have any good advice for you. No parents ever do. <laughs> Cut to career fair where she's trying to figure it out and find some hope. <laughs> All right, so welcome to the career fair. We have a lot of options to choose from today. There's lawyers over there. There's a dentistry booth over there in the back. I think I'm just looking to sign up for The Bachelor because no one loved me as a child. Okay. <laughs> We do have a lot of options with the uh, entertainment business. We can go this way, okay. over this way. Oh, by the way, there's a hot air balloon guy in the back. I went and talked to him though. He seems a lot, a little sketchy. And he's really into planes. Hey. <laughs> Hi. I'm Frank or Gerald, depending on your view. <laughs> hey, can you help us set up the entertainment booth? Because I feel like it's getting low on snacks. And I think that we should replenish it together. And you look like you're not doing much at the hot air balloon booth. So, yeah. could you help? Could you lend a hand? Yeah. Do you have many to spare? Are they busy? <laughs> yeah, no, there's not a lot of people at the hot air balloon. So, well, I guess I could. Yeah, I guess I could leave it. <laughs> well, that's mighty kind of you. How did you get into your line of work? Is an excellent question to ask a professional. My, uh,. My dad built hot air balloons from scratch out of a uh, out of a uh, fishing line and, and, and deer antlers. Uh. He's, cute. He's cute. Hi. Hi. Do you want to have a really complicated life together? I do. All right. Hey. Great. Hey. Sounds well, good. Cut back to over the ocean. <clears throat> On the way home, huh? Oh yes. 
I'm glad you got this little bit bigger one. Now yeah, there's a little yeah, room in between slightly, them. Nice. It's a little bit roomier. I thought it, we could upgrade. Wow. You know, well, that was yeah. a good decision. Thank you. Hey, this, is, this has been great. I really appreciate it. And I hope things get better with your, your ex, Ted. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, my ex, Ted. Yes. <laughs> Ted the ex. <laughs> Thank you guys very much. Thanks for having us. Have a lovely afternoon.